What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at one of the best projectors on the market right now when it comes to home theater, when it comes to all of your streaming apps. This is the Artly Play 4 native 1080p projector and it has some of the more high-end features that you'd expect like auto keystone, autofocus, Bluetooth, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. But the number one thing that I really like about the Play 4 and what I really liked about its predecessor is the fact that we have Android TV built in. So as you can tell from the remote control, quick access to Netflix, quick access to Prime Video and your Google Assistant. But wait, there's more. You can download all of your favorite Android TV apps right to the projector itself. You can even Chromecast things over, so it does have Chromecast casting built in right to the projector itself. And that just means that this is your number one stop when it comes to multimedia. Anything you want to throw at this projector, you are going to be able to do so. So let's go ahead, check out the Play 4 together and see what it's all about. This is everything that comes in the Play 4 box. So you do get the actual projector. You get a nice remote control with all of the functions that you're gonna need. Again, quick access to Netflix and Prime Video as well as your Google Assistant button. Here's an HDMI cable. Although honestly, with all of the options, streaming and whatnot, I don't know what peripheral you need to connect to it. But you also get a power adapter, manual, as well as some cleaning swabs right there. And the overall projector I think looks very modern, looks very nice and sleek. I think they did a nice job with the design. And I also like the fact that the physical controls on the top of the Play 4 mimic a remote control. I mean, that's just a nice attention to detail if you ask me. And on the back, here's all of your inputs. So you do have your 3.5 millimeter jack, two HDMIs, two USBs. And when you first do unbox this projector, you are gonna have to install the module. So if you open up this little flap on the side here, this is your module right there. And I suspect this is for your Android TV and this is for your casting and all of that good stuff. Once you've installed that TV module, you can just cover up the flap and no one's the wiser. But let's go ahead, plug this in. I want to check out all the streaming options, check out the interface and give you my final thoughts on the Play 4. So let's check it out. Taking a look at the actual interface of the Play 4, and this is not Android TV. This is the actual interface of the Play 4 from Artly. You have an option to iOS cast, so if you have an iPhone or if you have a tablet and you want to cast over your screen, you can go ahead and do that. Just know that you're not going to be able to cast over Netflix, you're not going to be able to cast over anything like that using screen mirroring. That's going to be protected, but thankfully once again with Chromecast built in, you can, you can cast over Netflix that way. And there also is Miracast for us Android and Windows devices. So if any of your devices have Miracast, you can also mirror your screen using Miracast. Plugging in a pen drive to the back of the USB ports, you'll be able to have movies on it. You'll be able to listen to music on it. You can also see photos or if you have any documents you want to go ahead and view from your USB file, you can go ahead and do that. Now taking a look at the actual settings of the device, projection settings is just what it sounds like. It's going to be all of your settings for your projector. So if you had different ways that you needed to lay this out, maybe it's on the ceiling or maybe it's on the back upside down, you can go ahead and switch that. Now for those of you that don't want the automatic keystone, you can turn that off, but I found that the automatic focus and keystone do a very, very good job. But once again, this is that fallback, so if you wanted to manually adjust the focus or the keystone, you could do it. And here's also digital zoom, so you can zoom in or zoom out down to about 60% or up to about 100 so again, there's a lot of options when it, comes to, when it comes to the device itself, not just with Android TV. System update is where you're gonna find out if you have an online update being pushed to your projector. And under other settings, you do have a couple options here. So if you wanted to boot directly to one of your HDMI peripherals, you can have it set to boot to one of those devices. And there's also a scheduled shutdown. If you're watching TV late at night and you want this to shut down automatically, you can have a scheduled shutdown there. Now under language, I just want to show you what kind of languages are available. So if English isn't your first option, you have many other languages to choose from. So well done to Artly for giving us basically all the languages out there. So I just scroll through the list. Just take a look if you have any of, this, any of the languages that you need to set it to. So let's go back to Android TV because again, I think this is the most, most beneficial part of the Play 4. Taking a look at the actual home screen, if you've ever seen an Android TV device before, this is what it's gonna look like. So you have some recommendations, you have all of your favorite applications right at the top here. And this being Android TV version 10, full-fledged Android TV, you can download all of your favorite streaming applications. So here we go, I have Netflix, I also have Prime Video, Apple TV Plus and Plex. Those are some of my favorite. And you'll be able to stream all of your favorite movies and TV show and HD content. So again, very, very well done. And they think you should give it to them. But you should never give anything unless you're getting something in return.
Duke. And it is weekend, this ridiculous game that started well before we set foot on this island. Will you explain it to us, then? A tiny Alcyone hatchling, just a few inches high and weighing less than two ounces. But if somebody puts, if somebody posts something on social media, then I'm like, yeah, it's good. Now I just opened up the window to get some light, and you can see the projector is still very, very viewable. Good to see you, Colin. Thanks, Sarah. Good to see you. All right, just ahead. It's you, good witch. Or something. And it is broken her turning. That's my court baby. Big Bang's Melissa Robbins. Anyone that's a stripper, please go home. This is with the windows open and the front light on. So again, very, very viewable image. The screen that I have right now projected on my wall is a 57 inch screen and it can go all the way up to 224 inches or all the way down to 38 inches. Again, it all depends on how far back how far back the projector is from the screen or the wall that you're projecting on. And thanks to the auto correction, it's really gonna, it's really gonna fine tune that image for you. You don't have to mess around with it. So I just wanna show you it. If I go ahead and kind of move my projector back a little bit to get a larger image, let's go ahead and take a look. You see right away it's noticed a change. It's gone ahead and auto corrected itself. Again, very, very useful feature. So let me just keep moving this back and get a little bit of a larger screen here. So right now it's noticed a change and it's auto-corrected the image to give me the best possible image. Now let me just go ahead and measure and see what size image we have at the moment. Right now I've increased the image quality to about a 60 inch screen. I really like the auto correction that's built into the Play 4. It's just this very, very useful. You don't have to mess around with keystone or focus every time someone moves a projector. A lot, a lot of features built into the Play 4 here. Open Apple TV. Opening Apple TV. Open Plex. Opening Plex. Open Netflix. Opening Netflix. Of course, having a dedicated Google Assistant button means you can do a lot of things about all of your other connected devices. Turn off the front light. Turning off the front light. So as you can see, not only do you have all of your apps built in thanks to Android TV, but you also get a very fast processor in here. It doesn't take a lot of time to open up your applications. Once again, that's why I really like this projector. That's why this has replaced any other projector that I might have in my house right now. This is definitely one of the better full featured projectors on the market. Now, finally, I just want to show you the Chromecast built in option because that's going to really open up the amount of services that you can use on the Play 4. Opening up BBC iPlayer, this is something that I do not have installed on the projector. So if I just go ahead and click on Serengeti 3, click on your cast option at the top. Just go ahead and start watching a, a little Serengeti Refuge Season 3 Episode 1 and see how fast it takes. So right away you can see it loaded up super, super quickly. Again, it's not only about having apps on this device, but it's also about the processing power and it's definitely a very... Very capable processor when it comes to streaming over your multimedia. Let's just do a little quick fast forward. So once again, really a nice job. Pairing up Bluetooth devices like the Tribit Stormbox Black's Bluetooth speaker, very easy. So let's go ahead and check out the quality with Bluetooth, see if there's any latency issues and all of that stuff that usually comes with Bluetooth. Play the latest JabberTech YouTube videos. Wait, wait. 
What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at some awesome products from the guys over at ESR. All of these products have their Halo Lock feature, which means... Now if you're an iPhone user, you've been enjoying MagSafe products for quite some time. And currently as Android users, we can pick up a case that's going to give us that MagSafe capability. So this happens to be a Pixel 7 Pro here with the mouse case that has MagSafe built in. And since I've been an iPhone user for the past couple of months, I really can't live without my MagSafe products. On section of the Bronx, he has more on the officer's condition and who police are still looking for. Elijah? Well, Mary, I want you to take a look at this. Right here behind me is a flyer indicating that police are offering a $10,000 cash reward for anyone who knows the whereabouts of where these two suspects are. We know as of about a few hours ago at this point, a 16-year-old boy has been arrested for his involvement in the shooting, one that injured a police officer who was currently at St. Barnabas Hospital in stable condition. It was crazy. As this officer continues to recover, he's expected to recover. Police in both marked and unmarked cars are patrolling this area looking for those two suspects. We're live in the Bronx. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News. Chris, back to you. In this ridiculous game that started well before we set foot on this island. Will you explain it to us then? Only one person can tell us who killed Cassandra Brand. He's an illegal immigrant. It's from another country. Yeah, so he tried to hide. And but... then the woman blames it on him, and it's just crazy. When it comes to Bluetooth latency, I am not seeing any latency whatsoever, and I do have it connected to the Tribit Storm Box, but I have not seen any latency with, with any of these apps that I've just tried. When it comes to the Artly Play 4, this is a one-stop shop 1080p projector. It's going to be able to serve all of your multimedia needs. And with Chromecast built in, it just means that anyone that comes over to visit can cast over their favorite videos, cast over their photos, cast over anything that's castable, even from applications that you don't have installed on the Play 4. Of course, being able to download your favorite applications makes it really easy just to boot up this projector and go. I'm definitely sold on it, and I think for anyone looking to replace their current model or anyone looking to upgrade their current model to one that's a little bit more with the program these days, thanks to having Android TV built in, look no further than the Play 4 from Artly. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in another video.